Here we go. How's it going, everybody? It's been a while. In fact, almost an entire year. Would you go through the door? So, bad news is, I somehow managed to lose all the save files and save states for the previous Christmas Chrysler countdown. Good news, uh, there was like a reasonably appropriate one on GameFAQs, and I just ripped that. Um, it's on New Game Plus 5 instead of Plus 1, so there's that. But anyway, so we, uh, we dealt with the Chrysler building last time. We killed Eve right at the end. Um, so now, in order to be able to do the Christmas Chrysler countdown again this year, I have to start a new game plus. But doing the Chrysler building ending, uh, you cannot get new game doing it that way. You have to do the regular one. So instead of going to the Chrysler building, so we can go up there. We can go up there and slap the shit out of uh, Eve if you wanted to. Chocobo Summit at the American Museum of Natural History. Oh man, we get the good music. Oh, that snow crunch? Oh man. That foley. That foley good. I'll give this game one thing. Well, I'll give this game a lot of things. I like this game, but... They really put a lot of work into the, the, the footstep sound effects, because boy oh boy do you hear them a lot and everywhere. Uh... There we go. So, eh, hmm? there we go. I don't remember my way around this place. Uh, just FYI, I should have. Yeah. I did not name these guns. <laughs> I did not name the gun and armor because, like I said, I pulled this. Uh, pulled this off of game fans. gonna keep doing real life saves. Excuse me. Just in case. I was like, what's that weird, like, dust cloud looking symbol down by the five on day five in the save file? I was like, oh, it's just I as head. But since the thing is translucent, it showed her there. Okay, so this bad boy should be working. So, like, I don't know how much of the museum has been done in the save file, so we might have to fight the T-Rex again, we might have to fight the Triceratops again. I do have the clamp key, so there's that. There's, like, a bunch of treasure and shit. Okay, so... It's through there that I think I need to go, so I need to figure out the way around. Let's see how good this gun is. The other thing is, like, um, because this new game plus five, this gun has, like... Oh, fuck. Way more jack stats. Than the gun I had. Uh, the downside, however... I need to, like, turn the volume down on this. Having to, like, shout over the music and sound effects and stuff. Hold up. Uh, I guess I'll just turn my whole computer volume down. Oh, that's not going to turn it down in OBS, though. Boo! Okay. Hopefully that'll be better. Ah, yeah. Bullets. You only take 135. Wait, is that a nine or a three? Okay, that's a nine. Is that 
sex is a little fucky. But, uh, like, so the stats on this gun are better than mine. Like, those are lar much larger numbers in the plus section, but the... the this is worse. This only has two commands, one, mine had three. Yeah, it's got spray, first attack, cyanide bullets. I'm pretty sure I had, like, way more stuff on mine. Oh well. Worst case scenario, uh, in this year's Christmas Price of Countdown, we can just go, um, get all the trading cards again out of the Chrysler building, get the tool and super tool again, and just get all the slots back and get all the stuff back. I'm literally not to- yeah, the, the armor is also, like, jack to shit. Max HP up, resist poison, four item slots, resist stiffness, increase attack power. I like it. Hold up, is this not the spot where I'm supposed to- Yeah, does not- doesn't somebody, like, lock me in here? And I have to get out through the window? Don't take any of the treasure. It's like the window's already broken. He already has the clamp key. Mm, maybe not. I'm pretty sure I have to do something on this floor to get up an L through the Triceratops room. Why does this door have such a long loading? I have a Brontosaurus head! Why isn't the Brontosaurus alive? Oh, this guy's got like... Some bullshit attacks? Doesn't matter if he's dead. Right, I remember the Pterodactyls being like... Kind of a pain in the ass. Oh, the museum music is so good. I think I'm going the right way. I think there might have been an easier way to get here, though. God, that burst, though. Yeah, I'm not gonna worry about the junk until we get to the next New Game Plus. Where I can make um, a very good junk gun. That can get more slots. For all I know, this is like the Junk Assault Rifle at, at base. Hello. Ah, hey, yeah, 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 there it is. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, mitochondria powerhouse of the sun. I actually do not know. Okay, so the raptors take two shots. These idiots take one, however. Oh, that burst. So that leads downstairs. Is this the big headroom? Or the upstairs part of the big headroom? Not yet. F9? What do you mean? I don't understand. Also, how do you jam him? Oh, there are nine of me. That's just to fill up the space around the, uh, the game. Oh, shit, he's alive. Armadillo or Dune Bug, whatever that is. Yeah, it's, it's Math 9. I thought you were making a Day 9 reference. Or that I somehow screwed up the, the 
stream description or name or something. Okay, so have I not... Has this door not been opened before? Or does it say that every single time? Okay, so we have to fight the T-Rex again. Me thinks. The Tricer- Wait, hold up. Triceratops isn't here. Where are the- Okay, so there are two ways you can get into this room. I guess he just never opened that door. Specifically? That makes sense. Yeah, because the Triceratops isn't here anymore. So we at least killed that. And that's the... That's like the mini boss. So I'm going to assume that the T-Rex is also dead. <gasps> Perfect. We got new stuff. Or wait, no. No, the T-Rex is alive. Because that's... That? Right? Is that not the... That might not be the T-Rex stomping. That might be the people sludge? No. I think that's T-Rex stomping. Okay, so we still have to fight the T-Rex again. Where did I just come from? The cutscene just played and then it was all over. Yeah, only having two actions. Weak stuff. Yeah, so this is the other side of that door I couldn't get to before. So yeah, going upstairs... Okay, so I must have come through here. Because we want to go upstairs where it gets slimier and slimier. So I should get tackled out of a window? By the Triceratops. Or not. Wait, where the fuck does this go? Nowhere. Yeah, it gets real- You notice every time- It's the same in the Chrysler building. The closer and closer you get to Eve, the goopier it gets. Hold up, can I use this thing? Nope. What do you mean, what is this extremely cursed layout? It's a perfectly fine layout. Okay, so, never mind. So he must have killed the T-Rex. So, the stomping was not the T-Rex then. So that glass, yeah, that glass right there, that would have been the broken glass that I got when I got tackled through the window. You know, that Triceratops just, like, is totally missing. Hold up. I clicked a thing. Whoops, 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 whoops. It's like, you defeat the Triceratops and you're like, cool, it's dead. And then you try to get back up to where the Triceratops fought you and then it tackles you out the window. Anyway, let's let's watch some more cutscenes. He's on the other side. Yeah, huh? Eve. Mm, and she is Pregard. How do I become pregnant? Nah, that's not... I don't want those sounds ever, anywhere. You really shouldn't be able to hear a baby crying from inside you, let alone, like, several pregante. <laughs> Greetings, Void Star. How's it going? I think that might be the first time since I've had the... the Various relevant audio commands that you've entered with Eve instead of Void Star, which I guess is appropriate for what's currently taking place. It's going. Oh, that's good. It's a wonder you made it this far. Oh, I made it way farther. I, I went to the top of the Chrysler building and killed your other half. Hmph. <laughs> so, are you going to congratulate me on this birth? It kind of had to be. Yeah, fair enough. What are you planning to do, Eve? Hmm. Perhaps you can help me answer that, Aya. Ba yeah. 
Why do humans give birth, hmm? Oh. Wait, did the game freeze, or is that just where the animation stops? Maya. Ah, that's just where the animation stops. Mmm, the FMV cutscene. We can see all the goopiness. Typically, I suppose it's an egg. I don't know if that's necessarily true. This is where this is where all the parallels to Ghostbusters 2 start really coming through. Because I know I know I mentioned them before uh, last year, but you don't get to see most of them um, if you're doing the Chrysler building. Really. So yeah, we got we got the the slime. Uh, obviously, New York City takes place at the same time of year. We got a museum involved. Uh, obviously, the slime did not become a man, slime man. Slime bee. But still, you got you got the sewer slime. Uh, except this time, slime is people. Uh, we actually don't have to fight the slime. There is no slime boss in this game. There are some slime or like weird amoeboid enemies in the hospital. No Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. Yeah, but Stay Puft Marshmallow Man's not in the second one. It's in the first one. And then the other big thing that we're gonna get to is the Statue of Liberty featuring prominently. Are you okay, Aya? Aya! Daniel, Maida, you both made it out okay? Yeah, we barely made it though. Did you see that ugly mama? <laughs> that, that was everyone, yep. That was all the liquefied body mass of everyone from Central Park. How do you know? No, Vigo, the painting! The painting! He is Vigo! That's why they're in the museum. Teth is a door, time a window, I'll be back. That that was everyone from Central Park. What? And you're saying that Lorraine's a part of that thing too? Lorraine is his ex-wife. Or was his ex-wife. Now she's part of a goop monster. I'm sorry, Daniel. Er, yes, it's become apparent as to what medication Melissa had been taking. What was she on? Melissa is the human who Eve is, like, currently inhabiting. She was being administered immunosuppressants. Immunosuppressants? For what? Why? I love these driving scenes, the fucking- it, Like, it's going by so fast, it's like, how fast are you driving, Daniel? Jesus! It's like that scene from the second Matrix movie. Here's the story. Melissa had a transplant when she was a kid. Transplant? What kind of transplant? Yes, it seems that she got one of your sister's kidneys. After Maya died in an accident. A kidney transplant? So Melissa got Maya's kidney? So it all comes back to Maya. Maya's the source of all this baloney. We have superpowers because we got her, like, left cornea? Your mother and your sister were donors. What, really? I never knew. Your mother's organs could be transplanted after the accident. So Maya's kidney was transplanted into the young Eve. No, I'm sorry. The young Melissa. She had kidney failure. Then Eve's kidney is really Maya's kidney. The intern that was present at the operation was, you guessed it, Hans Clamp. Clamp. Our main man, Clamp, wanted to become a doctor. The doctors that were present during the operation were all surprised, and they all screamed that the kidney was hot. There are new ones. The Eve baloney was already starting. So yeah, that's why, like, Aya also has powers. Thank you very much for the start. Because they, 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 like, evolved, the mitochondria evolved on, like, divergent paths after they left Maya. And Eve is... It's hard for me to say, but the original was present in Maya. That is a good one. Alien are Well, no, they're not aliens. There's no- there's- There are actually no aliens involved. I was being kind of facetious when I typed the, the alien antichrist thing into the Discord. Yeah, Mandra is the powerhouse of the cell. It's such a powerhouse, it lets you liquefy people, set them on fire, and give birth to the antichrist. 
It's like beyond the powerhouse. It's the powerhouse of the world. So yeah, that's also why there's a second Eve um, in the Chrysler building. The second Eve is uh, like Maya's original body. Like it basically managed to live on in her corpse. So yeah, there are technically two Eves present throughout the game. As I understand it, like the the one in Maya was like laying dormant and waiting for the one in Melissa to come alive, so that the one in Maya could basically like activate and do her shit, while the one in uh, Melissa was basically like a backup. It's hard for me to say, but the original was present in Maya. Why can't I? I'm afraid it was already used, Gina. Like, there we go. Eve killed the host brain, cultured the kidney, and obtained her own physical body. Then what happened to Melissa? In her case, the immunosuppressant drugs served to act as a catalyst. In Japan, Eve targeted a girl who had undergone a transplant, a kidney transplant to be exact, and she was taking the same immunosuppressant drugs. This was all so that Eve would have a uterus to plant the fertilized egg. In order to transplant organs, it is necessary for the HLA type to match. It lives symbiotically with other cells, so it's necessary to take immunosuppressants to control the immunity and avoid rejection. While being controlled by Eve, Melissa felt her body change, but she finally got the lead part in the opera. If she had gone to a doctor, she would have been told to give up the part. So in order to avoid rejection, she kept taking the drugs, and after taking so much, she was so weak that Eve was able to take over her physical body. And that's how she transformed into mitochondria Eve. Yeah, I guess since we're jumping right into, like, the last act of the game, as opposed to playing through the whole thing from the start, at least until we get to Christmas, it... I've played through this game, like, probably ten times or so, so, like, I kind of know all the stuff that's going on. So then Maya, Maya is the original Eve. In reality, it's Maya's mitochondria. Oh, we're back aboard the battleship. Roger, commencing operation, sir. Finally, the time has come to put our power to the test. Right, because, um... In day four, they flew in some fighter jets to try to just, like, bomb the place. Um, and Eve, like, basically... liquefied the pilots and took control of the plane and tried to crash it into the roof of the hospital while we were still on it, so we had to, like, dive off there. Yeah, what else would I... How else would I do with Jane Erdling? I'm not gonna, like... I'm just gonna load from right before we beat the Chrysler building. And just go finish the rest of day five and six. Don't be impudent, Lynch. It shouldn't have come to this. Y yes, sir. For forgive me. Thank you very much, Voidstar. Calling all fighter jets. We have just received permission to attack. Commence operation. Head for the Statue of Liberty. As planned, Helicopter Team 1 will prepare for Plan 2. Helicopter Team 1 will prepare for Plan 2. Not confusing at all. Team 2 will search the, and the rest will do their best to impede further advancement. Yeah, because at this point they've probably gotten a call that there's like a giant fucking slime monster stomping around New York. Oh god, Zilla was stomping around Tokyo City like a big playground. Batman came from the back cave and hit Godzilla with a back grenade. Godzilla got pissed and began to attack, but didn't expect to be blocked by Shaq, as he proceeded to open a can of Shaq food. But Aaron Carter came out of the blue. Aaron Carter started beating up Shaquille O'Neal, and they both got flattened by the Batmobile. Nothing compares to Mr. Rogers. That's pretty much all of the song I remember, except for the the bit with Chuck Norris. Well, the bit where Chuck Norris gets his ass kicked. The Navy's made their move. What? I don't, I don't think I knew who Aaron Carter was then, let alone now. We can't allow this. We'll be repeating what happened yesterday with the Jets. Thank 
very much, Jader Blake. If I knew, I don't remember knowing. Oh, right, this is the part where the goo shoots lasers, because mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. So powerful, in fact, it can generate force fields and lasers. Just to be clear, uh, Eve is currently trying to give birth to a being that has, like, pure mitochondria or something. Um, it's trying to give birth to a being that has her super mitochondria but does not have a host body. Because, like, the host body, like, holds her back in some capacity. So, so it's, it's... She calls it the ultimate being. So, like, some kind of pure super, uh, super mitochondria baby. No, Lorraine! Lorraine can't be a part of that thing! Ricardo was some teen Disney star boy. Gotcha. The huge creature, or no, those cells. That must be where Eve's giving birth. Where she's giving birth. Yes, the huge creature will act as a barrier to protect the ultimate being. Otherwise, he doesn't. Yeah, there it goes. All laser. They're gonna try to shoot some missiles, and I think they like bend around the force field or some shit. Because this bullshit. Yeah, look at that shit. Laser. I'm trying to think of what the modern equivalent is, but I got nothing. Fair enough. It doesn't ultimately matter. Oh. I don't know kitty shit anymore. Just, we'll just pretend he's PewDiePie. <laughs> Lorraine. The helicopter's coming. Everyone duck, cover your heads and... Can we murder who? Maida? PewDiePie. Or Aaron Car Carter. I don't know, that's up to you. Officer Bria of the NYPD, correct? Ma'am, it is my duty to accompany you to the aircraft carrier. Accompany her? To the what? I had to stop cringing, you dipshit. Welcome aboard the Navy's Pride and Joy, the Nimitz. I'm Williams, I command the ship. Sorry to have you come on such short notice. Hey, you better not put I in danger here. I mean, we've been in danger for the last five days. You, who do you think you are, talking to the Admiral that way? It's quite all right, Lynch. After all, he is right. What? What do you mean? You're the only one that can't be ignited by her. I'm asking you to get in our chopper and nuke the creature. Hold on, I can't fly a helicopter. Not to worry, the chopper's been set to auto. She won't have any problems. Can you... I... I... As I understand it, helicopters are, like, kind of complicated to fly. I don't know that you can just set them to auto. So, she just needs to fire from a distance, where she can't be ignited. Unfortunately, the weapon needs to be fired at close range in order to work. We cannot move in that close, since we will be ignited. Well... I'll do it. Aya, no way you're going to go up there! Our fate lies in your hands, Aya! Okay, Daniel. That thing, that's not Lorraine. What do you mean you don't get that one? That's the opening to the 97 Berserk anime. The, the, where, where you've got like that creepy hand holding the bayonet, and you hear Void's voice. Is the destiny of mankind controlled by some transcendental entity or law? Is it like the hand of God above? Get out of here. He does this whole little spiel, and then it smash cuts immediately into fucking put your grasses on. It's so good. <laughs> like, it's even funnier when you've got the little prologue bit attached. Uh, because he says, like, a few more sentences. Um, and then just... It's really good. Do it for Lorraine, too, Aya. Wait, Aya, please take this. Come off it, man. We don't have time for that right now. 
Yes, of course. Er, Aya, please be careful up there, okay? Of course, I'll be fine. Oh. I was actually, like, humming this tune earlier. This is, like, the big, like, action fuck yet tune. But it's still, like, still has, like, Aya's theme in there. Maya. I think there might be a few more I'd have to look at. They're in order of when they were added, except for Tetsumaku, which is always at the end, so that way I don't have to move where the and is. We're helicoptering in. We got our squad. That is the Chrysler building. Or, yeah, no, that one's the Empire State. I don't know what that one is. Damn. Oh. Ah, oh, Grody. Oh, shit. Lasers are coming. Creatures within view. Switch to formation two. Oh, oh, oh. Get nice and lined up for one laser shot. What? What's happening here? In the last battle, we were able to anticipate this attack. We're positioned this way for a reason. What do you mean? First one explodes. They're, they're basically just suiciding their way in. And we're at the back. We'll access your shield so that you will live to attack the creature. What? No. I'm not doing this without your... Fire the missile! Retro firing range. Prepare to attack. Alright. Please move away from me now. We cannot abandon our duty. Besides, we're already within range. I do son of a bitch. No! Pilot we never met who didn't have a name or face. Ew. We got him! It's insane. Since Christmas Eve, I put a curse on my own body. Greetings, JMM. Oh, you're talking about uh, Resident Evil 4. Why me? Why is this happening to me? I, I don't understand. But I don't care anymore. Because Eve, I'm the one can, that can destroy you once and for all. Again. Maya, I'll end this and let you rest peacefully. I think we got to hear Mike's voice in Resident Evil 4 at least. Fire the missile! The Oh man. Oh, on the camera. Eee. Eee. Ah, those were people. That was people. R all over the statue. Not the statue. Lady Liberty. You've got Lady you've got just human goop. Up. Oh, it didn't do the audio. Oh yeah, and then the the rest of the goop pile like actually collides with it and knocks over. The large copper lady. We did it! Hold up. What about Soylent Green? Oh, it's people. I'm gonna pay you a hundred dollars to fuck off. Hold up, what are all... Yes, uh, you missed Leroy Jenkins. Alright, oh, thumbs up. Ready, guys, Let's or... do this. Leroy Jenkins! But I mean, that one's pretty obvious what, what that was gonna be. And yeah, I think that's all the new ones. God damn it. Uh, you can do sock. Sock is not actually an audio command, there's no audio to it. No, wrong was actually always there, I just forgot to put it in the commands list. Wrong! Wrong's been there forever. I literally just forgot to, to type it in the thing. There we go. We did it! I think the problem with wrong is it shares, it has like the same use as the John Cena Are You Sure About That a lot of the time. And everyone's way more familiar with Are You Sure About That? Because I actually wrote it. 
I'm pretty sure I added those commands around the same time, but I forgot to put one of them in the commands list. Well done, that was magnificent. Return to base, Aya. No, it's not over yet. She glowing. She hands, arms out of her head. I. That's yeah. That's a really imposing silhouette. You you look like. <laughs> you look like a fucking tool, Eve. Yeah, I mean, this is this is pretty much about, like, Square Enix-level PS1 graphics. Pretty sure this came out, like, the same year as Final Fantasy VII. It's too dangerous to continue. Return to base at once. We will plan... But... Yeah. Yes? Okay. Yes, Aya, please! I need to give you... Right, and Maya has been giving us, like, useless shit all game. And then, for, like, the entire last act, he's actually trying to do something immensely useful. And keeps getting fucking stonewalled out of it until the very end. Forget it. She signed off already. God damn it. Uh, hold up. The game appears to have fucking broken. There we go. Yep. That. Nope. Sorry, my whole computer is having itself a giant shit hiccup. There we go. It doesn't like going in and out of the uh, emulator at all. Forget it, she signed off already. It's just the uh, regular boss music. She just like straps a parachute on. Have you ever used a parachute, Aya? I guess she doesn't know how to land a helicopter. So I guess that helicopter's just gonna go crash somewhere. I mean, I don't think they do parachute training in the NYPD. Like, when the fuck would you ever need it? Ugh, ugh. She's not got her jacket. It's just t-shirt and jeans. Uh, I guess I'll, like, reload my gun, because... I don't know how hard this fight's gonna be with all our jacked-ass armor and weapons, but normally this fight's pretty hard. So it was you! Damn straight. <laughs> You've slimmed down a lot from your pregnancy, unless you just, like, moved it down. She's got, like, arms and shit. Yeah, every time, every time you encounter her, she's got... She is more whack. Maya, humph. That must be the name of my host. Let me guess. Your sister? You have the ability to evolve! Why take the side of a doomed species? Humans aren't doomed. If my mitochondria has the ability to evolve, it'll evolve to get rid of you! Haha, <laughs> love that sense of humor of yours, girl. Why is it that humans kill? You also asked me why they gave birth. Humans kill each other, and they even kill their own kind. We have our reasons, and you sure are good enough. And you sure are a good enough reason for us to kill. <laughs> All organisms have something called a territory. This territory is guarded from natural enemies, but until now, humans had no such natural enemy. That is what has allowed them to prosper to this point. You beings must think of your prosperity as history. But you're wrong. We mitochondria have lived within the human being and have allowed you to prosper. What? Ha ha ha! We mitochondria have made you create the perfect environment for us. Humans have come to rely on civilization and have lost touch with innate physical capabilities. Can't you see that it's the perfect scenario? What? Then you're saying that... Humans were kept alive for the mitochondria's sake? Hmph. You humans just served as transportation vehicles for us. What do you mean? 
Vehicles to transport us to the time the mitochondria would become free again. Ha 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 ha. How many sentences has she started with ha 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 ha? But you see, the vehicle is no longer needed anymore. You don't have to say no longer and anymore in the same sentence. You can say no longer needed or not needed anymore. No longer needed anymore sounds like you don't know how to fucking speak English. Jesus Christ. From now on, the mitochondria will become... From now on, the mitochondria will become human beings and will rule this earth. We'll see about that. I have a really big gun that says otherwise. I don't think... I don't remember if she has, like, any, like... Instant, like... Holy shit. Oh, right, she has, like, three parts to her. I forgot about that. Well, let's just blast all of them, I guess. Bitch, you missed me. I think I just killed her. Ha ha ha. I'll give you points for trying. But enough of this nonsense. Watch and learn what evolution really means. She'll just, she'll just float up out of frame. Don't worry. Don't worry. She's definitely transforming. She's just doing it out of frame. You don't have to see an animation for it or anything. Oh no, here we go. Oh no, she already did it. And the whole point is, um, like, this looks very, very similar to our, uh, liberation form and the uh the eve up in the chrysler building takes a similar form as well it's like some weird like organic angel looking thing yeah she just does not deal damage well that makes this rather trivial i'm taking poison I think I got her. Jesus, that was fast. Liberation form is like like this super angel ass kick mode. I, I don't understand. Normally it's a lot more useful when you don't have a gun that just like destroys everything. You can't be our natural enemy. No! Yeah, bitch. I mean, really, it was my, my magnificently powerful bullets. Also, the fact that I don't set on fire when I'm, like, within a half-mile radius of you. I guess that helped. She's got she's got goop coming out of her skull face. She's making the creepy noises. Her wing hands turn to glass. That's probably bad. Yeah, it's because they didn't want this game to be, like, rated R. Then she liquefied. Well, that was easy. Eve destroyed. Poor Statue of Liberty. There must have been some mitochondria that underwent a different type of evolution. Think about it, Eve. It's gonna suck trying to get all that human muck off, off her shoes. It's like actual liquefied body, organ, bone, like the whole thing. Liberation, day six. Now I am to fill in. It'll get up and walk around. Yeah, exactly. It'll use the slime. It'll use the slime. Just like in Ghostbusters 2. So how the fuck did we get back to the ship? Oh, I guess they're not that far away. I assume maybe just like another helicopter comes in. And gets us. Aya, right, come on. No, that's Ghostbusters 2. That's how they get into the museum. As they walk up to it and they bust through the roof with the torch of the Statue of Liberty. Aya, what's wrong? Ha! You're a great Aya! It shows that only my partner can pull it off, eh? Yes, I am relieved that you made it back safely. Why the hell did Eve have to bring all this to the Statue of Liberty? Because of the, because of the ocean and what it symbolizes. The sea is the mother of all creation. This is where she wanted to give birth. That's... rampant speculation. I thought they rock'em sock'em... No! 
No, that doesn't happen at all. They defeat the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man by crossing the beams into on the other side of the doorway into Gozer's universe, which explodes the universe and therefore Gozer, who is taking the form of the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. Your light's blinking. Is this like what a military helipad looks like? It, like doesn't have the H on it? I'm sure all these lines serve some purpose. Or they were just made the fuck up. If you don't mind, I'd like to have some time to myself. <laughs> you just missled my my <laughs> wife's liquid body. Everyone else has been guided inside, miss. I was asking this question of a friend. I'm pretty sure it's Gozer. Gozer's like some ancient Babylonian god, whereas Vigo was like just a powerful sorcerer. Like they had to blow up a whole other universe to kill Gozer. Whereas Vigo, they just shot him with a bunch of goodness slime and proton packs. No need for this anymore. You take it. Keep it as a souvenir, huh? Y yes thank you. So this is the part where we get to name one gun and one weapon, and we get to keep those going into New Game Plus. Aya, Wayne came all the way from the precinct to see you. Yo, Aya. Uh, I'll be outside. The smell of oil makes me um, rather queasy. I knew it. I knew you could do it. I heard that you blew that thing to bits. I had to come over here. Everyone's saying that you're the number one cop in New York right now. Hey, what's wrong? You killed that thing, aren't you happy? I guess you're in shock or something, huh? Yeah, probably tired too. I'll take things that are in your way. So rest up, you hear? As a souvenir for blowing Eve away, I'll engrave your name on any weapon. Choose a weapon and armor. Whoever made the save file named it Life Sucks. Where? Okay, so this is originally the SG550. What do we want to name the gun? Hmm. You know what? Oh, whoops, how do I... No, I'm not going to name the gun Griffith. I think I'm going to name the gun Vigo. <laughs> what is death? Oh, default. Thank you very much, JMM. Now I know what the base gun is. End jacket. Left Vigo and Gozer. That's Mr. Cut it out of you, punk. Thank you very much, Jenner Thing. It's great being on this cruise array, so now we get to keep both that weapon and that armor into the next New Game Plus, which we're gonna need it for the Christ building. Gotta tell my mom about this. What a, what a great map. So you're gonna hand me your excess baggage or what? Okay, so we're gonna do that. Oh, we wanna use this phone. Cause I could, despite the fact that we have super guns and super armor, I could still fuck this up and die. No, I had to make a new, I, well, 
I lost all the save file stuff. I had to rip a save file off of GameFAQs uh, in order to continue this without having to just replay the whole game in order to get to the point where I could finish the game, then replay it again for the Christmas Chrysler Challenge. No. This gun has better numbers uh, than the gun I had, but it has fewer uh, like special qualities on it. It's like all these down here. My gun had more of this shit, but this gun has like just bigger numbers. Uh, this is technically five. Or EX five? I don't know. It doesn't matter. As I was saying, uh, because I lost all of my save stuff from last year, this is not my save file. I ripped this save file off of GameFAQs. I was only on New Game Plus 1. This is on New Game Plus 5. So like I said, my gun was not quite as powerful, but it had more of the mods on it. It was still a pretty good gun. Anyway. Well done. I've received some supplies from Admiral Williams. Please make sure make use of whatever items you need. I'll take a Medicine 4. Oh, I can just... making sure my safe states are all set up. Like, they really put, like, weight to those doors. Like, those doors don't budge so easy. Some Christmas, huh? Yeah. <laughs> my wife got liquefied for Christmas. Ex-wife. My ex-wife got liquefied for Christmas. Howdy. Sorry we're late. You should have slurped it. Ooh. Ooh. No. We cannot approach the creature without absolute confirmation of its death. Your help was greatly appreciated. Please rest inside. As citizens of the United States... <gasps> What's going on? What, what? What is it? You're scaring me. That huge creature that the mitochondria was creating was... It couldn't have been the uterus for the ultimate being. No! Ah, she did the old switcheroo! She wasn't using Melissa's uterus. She made a gigantic slime uterus and put the baby in there so that if she died, the baby would live. And now we gotta deal with it. Oh, God. This thing used to really creep me the fuck out when I was a kid. I still look at him like, ugh, ugh. I don't like it. I don't like that baby. I don't like that that devil angel alien baby thing. What the hell is that? You've got to be kidding. That is the ultimate being. We didn't make it in time. What are these explosions? The mitochondrial energy must be out of control to the point where it's causing these explosions. Time to go. We'll escape by helicopter. Please follow me. Guess all we can do for now is run. Aya, come on. Aya, what's That's wrong? a huge bitch! Thank you very much, Jenner Link. I have to take care of this. Aya, no! Don't worry about me. I'll be back. Please hurry. Shut up, man. Aya, please take... Cut it out with that voodoo stuff already, huh? We can't be wasting time. No, Daniel, please. This is different. It's not the voodoo stuff. Hurry, please! You two should go. Now! Aya, you're coming back no matter what, you hear? I unfortunately do not have any grasses. I really should remedy this. God, it's got a big, gross brain, and it's... 
a big gross mouth. It's just big and gross. Ow. All over. Oh god. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. It's you or me. Who's gonna be the one to make it through? That's the question. Uh, the first form is... Not too bad, except when it does that. So that attack knocks you all the way down to zero. Use our magic mitochondria powers. Uh, you can get far enough away. Yeah, that's normally what it does. It's just like this little ring. Uh, like the ring still hurts. This was... Always such a weird explosion sound effect. I'm like, what the fuck is happening? This baby's exploding. Uh, um... Is it growing? What's happening? Ow. Stop. And then it splits in half. You only have to kill the, the first in half. Hold up. It's going to try to shoot lasers. Fuck. Normally this would be a problem, uh, but I tank so hard it doesn't really now it's a bratty teen, yeah. World's fastest puberty. Okay, this is going, like, actually faster than I expected. I took that thing down in, like, five shots? Oh, shit. It's becoming anime! Oh, fuck. This, this is the mature being. What do you call those, those muscles like under the arms? Like they're huge on him. He's like fucking like. He's like some weird elongated hexagon for a torso. He, he has. Does he have two sets of pecs? Does he have pecs and then pecs again? No, your triceps are like here. I mean, like the. Like, the part that's, like, that kind of goes, like, from the rib, like, along the underside of the shoulder. Yeah, he is, he's so jacked, he has two sets of pecs. Look at him! <laughs> he's got pecs, and then he's got, like, an extra chunk of torso where his pecs and shoulders are. Ah, farts. Oh, yeah, that attack is, like, a pain in the ass. I don't even know what the fuck that is. Right. It's been so long that I like, don't know. Like, I actually don't know what all the different moves and stuff are. That one, if you're like way in the corner, I think you get away from it. Got him. Got him. Oh, my pecs. They're useless. Fuck. Two, two sets of pecs, two sets of arms. Then he turns into this fucking monstrosity. It's still growing? No, wait. It's still evolving? Oh, yeah, all he does is float around and he's got like these little shapes that shoot lasers at me, but I'm too jacked to take. Hold up. Actually, I'm going to let my parasites recharge a bit. I don't think he has any other attacks. He just kind of floats around. Letting his little laser idiots do I'm pretty sure he can damage me, like, twice with me. Look how big he is, too. Like, look how small I am compared to him. He's fucking huge. And as you can see, I can do but one damage to him. It appears 
He is actually more Jack. It turns out he's all packs. He was like, two packs is not enough. Now he's just like a billion tiny packs. Stacked together in a translucent mass. Uh, but yeah, you basically have to do 15 damage to, to trigger the thing. It's pretty. Jesus Christ. Or at least I thought it was 15 damage. No, there we go. He's evolved past his weakness to bullets. I know you want to continue living. After all, you were just born, but I want to live too. Like all other human beings. Damn, there's no end to this. If only I could give I this to Aya. What are those? They're bullets with Aya's cells in them. So that's what you're trying to give her? But I think it's too late now. There's nothing we can do. Here's the, like, the most badass fucking moment in the whole game. Stupid! Give him to me! He just... He just yeets himself out the... F oh, hold up. Doesn't show it yet. Spoilers. He yeets himself out the helicopter. Burst into flames. Fucking chucks the bullets! And she fucking catches them! One, that was an insane throw. Two, that was an insane catch! Damn, Daniel. Damn, Daniel. Daniel, this is from Maida. And so now I need to check. Yeah, so way early in the game we got Maida's gun, which is a special gun he gave us, but throughout, you know, the f half of the game where we have it, it's a shitty gun, but it's the only gun that fires the special bullets. Which happened to do insane amounts of damage to this thing. He's very weak to my mitochondria. I like how the crits do the exact same damage. It ju it's just maxed out. Yeah, we can't mod- I don't think we can modify that gun at all. Okay, here comes the hard part. He just starts, like, disintegrating and dissolving and liquefying. Kind of like the Senator Kelly from the first X-Men movie. Yeah, look at that. Oh, he's got, like, a weird skull with, like, glow eyes underneath all that jelly. Okay. Daniel! Fuck, I gotta run. Uh, if this thing touches you during this part... You die. Straight up. Go back to your last save. Fight the boss again. Oh, oh fuck, 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 fuck. Skipping the dialogue. No amount of armor or guns can save me here. I have to run and I have to know where I'm going. And I think I know where I'm going. Yep. The engine room. I don't know why she doesn't, like, keep shooting it. Aya is... Very slow. Very fucking slow. Okay, I gotta turn left. I got ho. There, th this place is like a little maze-like. If you go the wrong way ever, then you're fucked. And every time I do this, I'm like, am I, am I sure I remember the way to go? And I'm like, I think I do, but I don't really know for sure. Also, you never know which direction you need to be holding as soon as the area loads in, because the all the weird fucking camera angles and shit. The music keeps picking up pace. Turning here? There should be a hatch. Yes. Okay, good, 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 good. <sighs> good. This is the boiler room. The first time I did this, I didn't notice the path right down to the south of me that I can use to get out of here. Uh, so I actually had to walk back past the fucking ultimate being to get out. And I was like, oh my fuck. Oh god, look at all that green slime it left. So we just cranked the boiler. You're in, we're in Hell's Kitchen. No, 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 skip the dialogue. So she just like cranked the fucking boiler on this battleship. I don't think I have any more wrong ways I can go. I might.
animation of her like opening the fucking shit. Okay, we're only a few screens away. I think two? Maybe three. This is where it gets scary. Because it's like, oh, how are you going to get up the stairs? It's going to start flying! Uh. Okay, never mind. We're fine. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. Alright, that wasn't too bad. Damn, that's a lot of ships. A lot of exploded ships. That must be cold. Cold as fuck. It's the middle of the night on, like, December 28th. That water's gotta be really cold. Twenty-ninth. December 29th. Excuse me. It's finally over. <gasps> Excuse me. I don't understand why do I have this power. It's because Maya's inside of- Thank you very much, Void Star. It's because Maya's inside of you too, Aya. Oh, God damn it! When your mother and your sister died, they transplanted a part of your sister into you. Into me? Yeah. When you were seven, you probably don't remember any of it, but you were born with a defect in your right eye, and so Maya's cornea was transplanted into your right eye. My right eye? Then what I saw when I touched Eve was... It said that when you have an extreme experience, what you see is then branded onto the cornea. But this hasn't been scientifically proven. That was Maya's last memory. That was the last thing she ever saw? As for the mitochondria, that was in Aya's body. I think it underwent a different evolutionary change than Eve. She's got powers, cold water does nothing to her. I don't know, man. That's really cold water. That's not just like kind of cold water. That's that's like you can die. You can really die in that water. By living symbiotically with Aya's mitochondria, it still possessed Eve's power. From there, it evolved to the point where it could live symbiotically with the human nucleus. Me and Maya, our mitochondrial power. Starting with the incident in Japan, and now with this. I wonder if this is a message to all mankind. Message? What kind of message? How can I explain? If the Earth is a single human being, we humans that invade the Earth become like viruses out of control. We, in essence, are upsetting the natural balance of the body. This is definitely... utter destruction. No, we're... we're not that weak. You see, humans are, in essence, parasites. Wow, Maeda. You can say... that we are parasites and the world is our host. Look. The sun's coming up. Is it? It doesn't really look like it. Ah, there we go. There's the sunrise. God, my hair smells like salt. Where'd she get her jacket? Or she had her jacket off when she went on the helicopter, so it could have still been on the ship. There's, uh, Daniel's son, whose name I can't remember. Ben! Come on, Aya! Thank you, Ben. And this is, like, going back to, to where it all began. At Carnegie Hall. Wonder how much mental trauma she has? Yeah, that was a pretty fucked up six days. Uh, I'm not good with these social events. Nah, not me. I love these things. We have to make up for Christmas Eve. <laughs> Ben's just like, who the fuck is this? This is my first time, so I'm... Mm, I'm nervous. That's because you're with I and she's all dressed up and pretty. What? No, no, that's not it. Of course not. I accidentally skipped that dialogue. Rip. Hmm. 
Yes, Daniel and Ben are late, aren't they? We all arrived together. I guess they, like, had to take wicked shits or something? They'd better hurry. I didn't even press a button on that one. Uh-huh. Uh, the rest of them must be really crowded. Yes, that's probably it. What's wrong? You seem tense. Uh, er, um, yes, of course. What? Oh, uh, well, since I'm going back to Japan tomorrow... God damn it. <laughs> Move, Maeda! Yeah, alright, made it on time. I'm sitting next to Aya. Sorry, we're late. So yeah, this would have been like the, the exact same opera that they were seeing, except now without all the, the burning and death. Hopefully, hopefully, that's yet to be seen. But yeah, this is like the exact same scene starting up with the, I guess it's not really a chandelier. Except obviously it's a different actress. This guy managed to survive, apparently. Father, please give me permission to marry Eva. Man, they really liked putting plays and shit in their games in the 90s. Well, late 90s. You have Final Fantasy VI, you have Final Fantasy VII, you have Final Fantasy IX, and you have Parasite Eve. And I think Chrono Cross? She is evil! Go, grab her, and burn her at the stake. Actual fire, on actual stage. Y yikes Oh, yeah, and they're like, <gasps> oh, it's just, a, it's just a stage prop. It's not. No one's bursting into flames. We're fine. We're cool. <laughs> Father! If you're sensing her to death, then I ask that you take my life along with hers. Edward! Yeah. I, I'm pretty sure he caught fire. I'm pretty sure everyone caught fire. Yeah, he catches fire on the stage. Maybe he, like, ran out before whole body immolation took place. Um, would you guys mind sitting down? Sorry. Get with it, guys. Thanks, Daniel. Or, Ben. Nobody's setting on fire. We're not going into any full motion videos of people burning and screaming. All is well. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. No full motion videos. What the fuck is going on now? Into her left eye. Then everyone's eyes was glow. What does it mean? Does it mean that even the Chrysler building like took over and won? Or does it not actually mean anything at all? Because they definitely don't... Uh, expand upon it in, uh, like, the sequel or anything. Based on a novel by Hidekis, you know, So long, Giba. <laughs> Rip. Rip so long, gay Bowser. Didn't even finish. Hold up. 
Garfbot needs a moment. Bowser. There it goes. Um, yeah, I have no way to skip the credits. Uh, what I can do... Well, we've got a safe state here now, at least. Um, I want to go through and actually, like, do a save proper so that we've got the new EX mode started. Um, after this, since this didn't take very long at all, I think I'm gonna play some more Celeste, since I did not get super far into that game. I was thinking about doing Resident Evil 4, and I'm like, eh. I don't wanna. I mean, I kinda wanna, but I don't wanna. I wanna play some new stuff. Um, cause I got Celeste, so, like, finishing that would be cool. I also have Titan Souls, which I barely touched. I've owned that game for, like, two or three years or something. So, getting through that would be cool at some point. St. John Colon. Gross. Yang Ki Yoon, creature texture assistant. I mean, they did some, they definitely, these creatures had textures. Kyle Kirby. Go, Kikuchi. Is that the Pokemon? No, that was blasphemous. I don't think you've been here for Celeste, Voidstar. Celeste is like the... It's like a the platformer where you're on the mountain. Mount Celeste. I like all the jungle noises. He's a foster. No, I like refunded Blasphemous. Yeah, platform on a mountain. It is not Donkey Kong. I assumed you were gonna say getting over it with Bed and Foddy. Kimberly Lip Trap. Lip Trap! What the fuck kind of last name is that? Lip Trap. I would not want to get romantically involved with someone with the last name Lip Trap. That's just that's just gonna be bad news bears. Rhythm and Hughes Inc. We're not doing Donkey Kong. There's a there's a bar way up in the top left. I had to shrink it down to get it all to fit on the screen. Once I've had some more practice, um, I want to start blooming crimes. Made it stupid expensive. I mean, like I said, all the bits and uh, subscriptions get there. They add to the bar. Every couple of months, it goes up. It goes up by a chunk. I mean, what can I say? It's basically retroactively funding my PC upgrade. Um, what was I talking about? Right. I want to start uh, doing a bunch of Dragon Ball Fighters, but before I start like actually really playing it, I want to. Like... I've been I've spent about ten hours so far learning combos with Broly, and I'm probably about halfway through. Um, before I've like got really down in my muscle memory. And that's just with Broly. I also have to learn other Broly, and I'm, I don't know what my third character is going to be. It's either going to be Android 16 or Videl. So even if I did like wasting money on you, it's just dumb. I would have to donate a ton of shit just for a noticeable chunk. Every bit matters, man. Every bit matters. You can, you can try to fucking justify, oh, it's just wrong. I imagine, like, once I'm within, like, four dollars or something, you might be, like, with slam, just to, just to, like, tip it over the edge to make it happen. False? That's not false. That's literally how it works. You can't fill a bucket of sand without every single grain of sand in that bucket. It all counts. <laughs> false. Now 
now Takahiro. God, there's so many commands. I really need to attach audio commands to more of the uh, troll ones. Because we've got three out of the twelve. We've got Vriska, Equius, and Aridin. Music, Yoku Shimamura, who did a lot of music for like a billion games. I think she did the. I will skip to the one place. Thank you very much, Void Star. I think the quote is to the one place uncorrupted by capitalism. Space. Spice! Um. Yeah, no, I've been doing a lot of practice in Dragon Ball Fighters. I think I want to start playing that a bunch more. Because that's... Oh, man. You were close. It's true. You were close. It's it's one of those games where it's like, holy fuck. I, like, love every second of it. I mean, that might change once I'm fighting actual people and having to consistently eat my own shit until I become actually good. But I'll still probably enjoy it. No interest in fighters. But Broly... But Broly... But now Broly... My power is maximum here. You can have- they- they have- they just released the Dragon Ball Super Broly. So it's twice the Broly. Double Broly. Now they need to, uh, now they need- the only other Broly that they could do would be Bio Broly. Which would be awful, but I'd be down for it. Can't do- yes you can. I can do them myself with my own mouth. Yeah, you don't want to see Bio Broly. Wait, you haven't seen Dragon Ball Super Broly? It's really good. It's like... Probably the best Dragon Ball movie. And while most of the Dragon Ball movies are mediocre to bad, there are some pretty good ones in there. Nah, man, Dragon Ball Super Broly is great. It's really good. I'd highly recommend it. The fight scenes are fucking incredible. Hey, giving them points. Check the memory card. Do not insert into your butt. Unless you really, really want to. World's strongest in dead zone? Okay, so... I've made the save file. I've saved the save state. It's time to swap games. So give me a few moments while I get... Oh god, oh god, no. While I get all that set up. Uh, d d d d d d d d bip Thank you very much, Voidstar. Um... And